Well, what's going on? Oh, lovely. Do you want any of these? If not, I am taking them to the charity shop. Whose clothes are they? Mine. But they've shrunk. Shrunk? Oh, all right. <laughs> but they don't fit me anymore. Well, do you want any of them? You love this dress. You can't throw this out. What am I supposed to do if it doesn't fit me? Frame it? You see, put on a bit of weight. You can lose it. How? Um... Oh, eat less? I am not dieting. Who wants to be thin anyway? You do. Oh, I hate the whole idea of women having to conform to some impossible stick-like ideal. Trust me, Mum, you have got a long way to go to get stick-like. Look, I disapprove of women being manipulated until they're dissatisfied with their body shape. So you're happy with your body, are you? Yes, of course I am, when I can find it. It's just <laughs> hiding under a ton of crumpled blubber. Then do something about it. Find it. I can't, Hannah. When you get to my age, things slide downwards and sideways. <laughs> what you're really saying is you haven't got the self-control to stop stuffing your face. What do you mean, self-control? I've got control. <laughs> just can't fight the ravages of time. It's more likely to be the ravages of chips from the college canteen. Are you saying that I have an unhealthy lifestyle? No, but your life has changed in the past year. I mean, you've moved from a house to a flat. You haven't got a dog to walk anymore. That's probably why you can't do up that button. Hmm. <laughs> if you're so smart, why are you dossing on my sofa? Don't breathe out. Shut up! Of course, your real problem is that you're not getting any. Any what? Exercise? No, sex. Yes, all right, I know, thank you. Not that you haven't had the opportunity with Paul. Well, I can't help it if I have to take my time. Meanwhile, the pounds are piling up. Well, it's got nothing to do with it. You know, it's a real problem that you've only been to bed with two men in your life. Who says I have? Making love burns up something like 400 calories, you know. What? In three minutes? <laughs> Oh, your mum said you'd be here. Oh, that's nice of her, to tell you. Yeah. Oh, she's just sorry. Hold on. Watch. Hold on. Watch. Oh, I'm going to show you something. How to look up a brat? Let's come over here. I haven't got time for this, Jules. Oh, it won't take a minute. We're doing our, um, we're doing our first gig. Look. White bait? Yeah, that's us. Who came up with that? I did. Well, you know there's a band um, called White Snake. Well, it, it's like that and sort of like gel bait. White bait. You know, it's dangerous. Like, don't mess with us. Hey, you. Shoot. Sorry. <laughs> oh, well, hang on. You look very nice today. It's a fish, Jules. What is? White bait. I don't think so. Quite a small fish, actually. People have them fried, for starters. Oh, you're thinking of sardines? No. I used to work in a wine bar. It's a young herring. You'll have to trust me on this, Jules. I've had all these flyers done. Well, maybe not everybody knows about white bait. You didn't. That's true. Anyway, there's Nirvana. They were named after a fish. That's piranha, Jules. <laughs> Paul, would you say I was fat? Not unless I wanted to lose both my legs. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> no, of course you're not. Are you sure? Look, I hate women who are obsessed by their weight. I'm not obsessed. I just feel a bit lumpy. Do I look lumpy? Do I look stupid enough to say yes? <laughs> I see myself sideways in a mirror without looking like the road to the aisles. <laughs> well, maybe you don't have the metabolism to be thin. So you do think I'm fat? There's a big difference between fat and... and what you are. What am I? Don't say cuddly. <laughs> Look, I, I'm not unhappy with myself. You're not? No. I'll tell you a good way to lose weight. Who said I needed to lose weight? Get your jaw wired up. Well, that's a bit drastic. Yes. <laughs> but think of the advantages. <laughs> Thank you. I like you the way you are. Do you? Yes. Hannah thinks I should take some exercise. 
That's always a good idea. She thinks I've probably put on a bit of weight because I'm not getting any. <laughs> any what? Any younger? No, because I wasn't getting any... Because I haven't got a man in my life. Well, what am I? No, I mean, you know... In that way. <laughs> of course, I'm sure there's nothing in it. I see. Paul? Yes? I was thinking. Yes? It's time we had sex. <laughs> it's very kind of you, but we've got a class at two. Come to your house once or twice a week. Oh, sex on a regular basis? Oh, nice. Between meals? Usually best. I want you, Paul. As part of your calorie-controlled diet. <laughs> Deny it. Pass the ketchup. Oh, sorry, I'm late. I've been surfing the internet. The gig. The gig. Uh, white bait. We're playing tonight. Hi. You? you haven't forgotten. Did I say I'd come? Yeah. Yeah, you said definitely. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't. But I, I, I washed my hair. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, I'll come. Um, you go on, right? Uh, I really wanted to walk in with you. Yeah, well, you can't. I've got to get myself together, OK? Oh, oh, hang on. <laughs> I've got something to show you. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I had them done again, because like, after what you said about white bait being a fish, I went to see my mate down the market, and you're right, it is a fish. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and, and they are quite small, but they're aggressive. <laughs> you can get a nasty nip off them, apparently, my mate said. So I drew that picture. And this is an aggressive white bait, is it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's saying, um, like, we know what white bait is, because, like, God, I didn't want anyone to think we were stupid. I'll see you down there, right? Oh, you can keep that. Thanks. Bye. 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 See, see you in a little while. Oh, all good, healthy stuff. Uh, you've got crumbs round your mouth. Oh, I fell on a cake. <laughs> Me? It's the absolute truth. I was passing the bakery, and they they just washed the floor, and I slipped, and I tried to stop myself. I fell on a meringue. Well, naturally, you had to buy it. Well, naturally, you had to eat it, too. Well, <laughs> it couldn't be at home. It's all squashed. Mum, you're just not trying, are you? Look, I've got broccoli mornay for tonight. What could be more trying than that? And you can have it all. I'm out tonight. I've got to go and see Jules's band at the Grey Horse. I can hardly contain myself. <laughs> well, uh, can't you get out of it? No, you won't take get lost for an answer. Poor oh, Jules, being in love with you. 40 calories. Thanks, Mum. Well, can't you find one of your friends for him? No, I've tried. Is that he interested in me? If he saw you first thing in the morning, looking like a disinterred dormouse with your face full of muesli, he'd change his mind. <laughs> <laughs> but this is very, very, very low calorie. Have a good time tonight. Off you go. Why don't you come? She said, with real keenness and enthusiasm. Bye. Well, at least with you there, you won't be able to walk me home. No, you can go on your own. Now. <laughs> but you could throw your knickers at the bass player. <laughs> They'd knock him unconscious. Off you go. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hiya. What are you drinking? Oh, uh, I'm not, but thanks. Bye. Then, how's it going? They tell me Jules was sexy. It's not. No, he looks pretty sexy to me. Don't tell Dave I said that. They're fan this. Are they? Has that put himself across your mate? Jules? He's now to put himself across the road. I don't think they'd agree with you.
just going to take a five minute break for ten minutes. Cheers. Uh, <laughs> Hi. Can I buy you a drink, Jules? This is me. It's another lonely day longing for you To carry on, I need a drink to see me through And all along you knew you meant much more to me You led me to believe that I was safe to set my feelings free Whoa, oh. You were really good tonight. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I felt really good. Especially with you watching me. Yeah. I'm glad I came. Do you want me to come in? Better not. Mum's on a diet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, uh, right. Good night, Anna. Jules's band was fantastic. But the biggest surprise was Jules himself. I mean, he got up there and he was completely different. Bacon, cheese and tomato. Who ate this? <laughs> how should I know? I was asleep. <laughs> so, so, how, how was Jules? I can't explain it. I... <clears throat> <coughs> he, was, he was totally in control. I mean, he didn't fall over anything. He wasn't shy. He was a complete natural. You know, a real guitar hero. And there were these girls. Girls? Yeah. These girls after Jules. What, you mean he owed them money? <laughs> he looked sexy. How much have you had to drink? <laughs> you ask Caroline. You ask anybody. I, mean, I was watching him up there and the effect he was having on the crowd and I really... <laughs> oh, never mind. Really what? <sighs> I really fancied him, OK? You fancied Jules? Yeah. I know it sounds hard to believe, but you have to have been there. Would you stop looking at me like that? <laughs> well, I just hope you didn't tell him, that's all. You're stupid. I didn't even ask him in for a coffee. He brought you home? Yeah. So I thought, OK, let's put this to the test. Let's really see if this is the start of something. So what did you do? I kissed him goodnight. You kissed him goodnight? Can you stop repeating everything? <laughs> yes, I kissed him goodnight. I kissed him twice, actually, just to make sure. Make sure what? If I felt anything. And? Nothing. <laughs> Do you fancy a coffee? With your biscuits? <laughs> Hi. Freeze. Put that down. Curly Whirly. Look. <coughs> Good food, naughty food. Nosy Parker, nice try. <laughs> Goodbye, that'll be my lift. You'll be checking me bra for wagon wheels next. <laughs> oh, it's for you. Morning. Can I put this down? Yes, of course. No, not there, Jules. Oh, my boy for Hannah. Mm. What's the sofa? <laughs> Mine a coffee table. Oh, did you like it? Very big. Well, I wanted something big to remind us of our special evening. And, um, <laughs> and, and it, it will grow as our love will grow. I'll get in the kitchen. Yeah, of course. I'll get Paul right back. Mum, mum, mum. Turn right, Jules. So you dare go, please. What? Well, what's it worth? I'll clean the bath. And the oven? No, not the oven. Well, well. Yes, all right, the oven. <laughs> all right, all right, I seem to have a few minutes. My watch must be fast. Oh, oh. <laughs> No. 
Have you got any sellotape? <laughs> Jules, I hear you were very good last night. Yeah? You didn't say that. Yes, she did, as a matter of fact. Well, she uh, said all the girls in the audience liked you. Didn't notice. Well, now you'll have no trouble finding girlfriends. <laughs> Don't need another girlfriend. Now I've got Hannah. I've just got to cut my toenails. All right. <laughs> and pluck my eyebrows and my armpits. <laughs> and have a very, 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 very long bath. That's OK. I'll wait. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> I, I knew one day it would happen. Yes. She hasn't had a bath for ages. <laughs> now that she, she kissed me. Oh, I said, well, everyone kisses everybody these days, though, don't they? Well, Hannah's never kissed me like that before. I think she's trying to tell me something. Yes, me too. What, what do you think it was, exactly? Well, I've been thinking about that all night, but... I mean, it's obvious, isn't it? Uh, since Nick left her and went to Australia, she must have realised how she feels about me. Yes, I think you're absolutely right, Jules. Oh, oh it's good to talk. Oh, it is. Oh. Yeah, um, <laughs> actually, I'm going to talk to our plant, make it better. Because they listen, you know? How can you tell? Well, they, um, they, they, they bloom. <laughs> oh, hi, is your mother in? Oh, shut up. <laughs> oh, it is you. I didn't recognise you. You must have lost, uh, oh, years. <laughs> have you had breakfast? They are low calorie. Pink. Not red. So you only like me, then? Hey, one step at a time. I've been thinking, you know, about your offer. If you still want to lose a few pounds, I've got five minutes. Hmm. Foreplay as well. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Uh... <laughs> I'm going to look after you really good from now, and, and Hannah will learn to love you too, don't worry. Um, no, I won't hurt you. I'm, I'm just going to hold your stalk. Is that better? <laughs> He won't notice. It was all the hot water. But she will. Please, hold this a minute. <laughs> Jules! Someone else for you to talk to. Certainly <laughs> worthy. Yes. Hello. some poor pandas. If you've got stars in your eyes, it usually means you've got rhubarb in your brain. <laughs> rhubarb and custard. <laughs> you, you shouldn't be so cynical at your age. Someday your prince will come. Yeah, and then he'll push off to Australia and never write. Well, you've got jewels. That is not funny. <laughs> Has he been round today? Only twice. I hid the second time. I knew it's him because I heard him fall through the hedge outside. <laughs> Listen, you are going to have to tell him that he's misread the signs. Oh, and then he'll say, I'm sorry to trouble you, Hannah, and push off, will he? Well, what are you going to do? Escape. Who are you? Come here, you. <laughs> this time we're going to do your own dad. Well, get down. Mum, please, I'll never ask for anything again. Tony got a headache. It works for oh. most women. <laughs> remember my name. How's Australia? I missed you. Oh, <laughs> Mrs. Grayshaw, how are you? I'm surprised you have the nerve to come back here. Oh, and you're looking very well too. You must have put on some weight. Wrong. Uh, really soon. Leave now or die. Um, I'll see you later.
for a walk. That was Thursday. This is Saturday. <laughs> it doesn't seem to matter now. Nick's here. Ah, he's here today. But where will he be tomorrow? Hmm? Bolivia? Everybody knows you can't stay in one place more than five minutes. Well, that's all changed now. Don't tell me. He's got a mortgage, a motor mower, and an account at Sainsbury's home base. No, he's not going anywhere. He hasn't got any money. He's staying here to be with me. Oh, Hannah, I, I just don't want you to get hurt again. Be better off with jewels. Mum, I wouldn't. Has he been round? Yes. Oh, dear. He doesn't know Nick's back, does he? You didn't tell him, did you? No, I said I didn't know where you were, which is the truth. I was about to report you as a missing person. Yeah, well, I'll let him see Nick and then he'll guess. Oh, yes, then they can shake hands and make friends and you'll all live happily ever after. <gasps> That's not Nick. He said he was going to his sister's. Give you three guesses. Oh, Mum, get rid of him. What? Please. This is the last time. Oh, thanks. Yes. She's trying to avoid me, isn't she? Who? You know who. Jules, can't we talk about something else? She's here, though, isn't she? Please, tell me the truth. The truth is that I haven't seen Hannah much lately. <sighs> Sorry, Miss Gracia. It's just a... Since that night when she kissed me, like... You had a nasty rash? No, <laughs> we're a couple going out together. Playing darts, choosing curtains. Oh, poor Jules. <laughs> I tell you what. When I get hold of Hannah, which I will, I will make absolutely sure that she sits down with you and has a long talk. How's that? I'm going to wait for her, if that's oh, all right. Uh, no. Jules, don't be stupid. No, no, I'm not, I'm not leaving here until she's told me how she feels, because she owes it to me. Well, I want to do some illicit snacking. Oh, that's all right. You carry on. I'll just sit here quietly. <laughs> all night, if I have to. Uh, Jules, are you absolutely sure you won't leave? No, I'm not moving. Not for anything. Jules? Yeah? <laughs> to attract you or anything, that tell Hannah I bring her. Oh, Got rid of him then? At a price. Bickering comedians are no laughing matter for Jessica, a double act falling apart, and look out for a guest appearance by George Clooney in Murder, She Wrote at 10 to 7. But next on ITV3, will they, won't they, have they already? It's the upper hand.